The Santa Cruz River is the longest continuously cultivated region in North America. Incredible. Well, what's that? What, it's not the Mississippi. <laughs> it's not the Colorado. It's not any of the great rivers of our country. No, it's the river that doesn't flow. Right. <laughs> right, right. But it's because right there, right in downtown Kitchen, right where Mission Garden, downtown Tucson, right where Mission, Mission Gardens is, that people came millennium after millennium, family after family, because the source that there was always some water. You might have to dig for it. You might have to irrigate you. And they became master gardeners. They were ingenious people at how to use that very limited resource water in this hugely parched, horribly parched and arid climate to grow crops that they can eat. And they took crops from the desert things that were wild, growing wild in the desert. We call those desert adapted crops and started cultivating those. All sorts of beans they could find. You can still find the predecessors of these 5,000 year old, but still wild predecessors for some of mm, these things. Mm -hmm. If you go hiking around and you know what, what, to, what, what to look for. And they domesticated these things and really built through their, their ingenuity and brains and necessity an agricultural heritage. Absolutely. And so I think of them as the survivors. I think of the foods that they created as the survivors, the people that grew those foods mm -hmm. were the survivors. We are the beneficiaries of 5,000 years of surviving here in this arid, parched desert. But we're, it doesn't stop here. We're a moment in time right now. We're part of a continuum. Mm -hmm. And it goes on from here. And this is, But this is an important time because while we've been learned for 5,000 years how to grow things in a parched environment, the rest of the world's going to have to figure it out too. We have the answers. We know how to do that. So I think the role that Tucson will take, other mm -hmm. places like us with similar sorts of climates are going to take, is going to be leadership role worldwide. And it's happening now, right? How do you grow in climates that are really inhospitable? They're coming worse and worse. We know that. It's just a ma it's fact. Mm -hmm. And 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 we, we ha have some of those answers, and that's something we can share with the world. Absolutely. And